exercise is... I may do a film about sailing, so... <laughs> hey, good evening. I'm here with a friend of mine, Rutger Hauer. Now, some of you know Rutger from what they call the darker roles, like Nighthawk with Sylvester Stallone and Blade Runner with Harrison Ford and The Hitcher. And I have to tell you, Rutger, a lot of people think of you as very scary. Mm -hmm. Are you? Am I? <laughs> Are you a scary guy? I don't think so. Are you just like... I'm intense, you know. I get intense, and that scares people away. <laughs> but... Um... I'm also powerful, like you, and that scares people away, too. I know. I know. And we'll talk about why people get scared away when we come back. We've taken you through Europe. We've taken you on the freighter. You've, you've done these movies with Paul Verhoeven. Yeah. How did Blade Runner come about? Well, I did Nighthawks, which was my first right, American right. film. And, well, Ridley Scott had seen Soldier Orange. Right. And... He wanted me for it. Uh, so they came and said, do you want to do this? And I thought, well, what does a replicant look like? How does, does he move like this? Yeah. And so I saw the art, you know, I talked to Ridley and I saw the, 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 the artwork on it. And I, you know, no problem. Yeah. That last speech, which you put together, is amazing. What, 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 did you read it and say, I'm sorry, I can't say this, or? Well, you know, it's basically, it's sort of like, uh, because a lot of what I do doesn't come from me. It comes from it, mm. you know, or it comes from somewhere over there. But it's music, you know, you, you put, because we shot the end at the end of the movie after mm -hmm. five months of shooting. So we'd seen all these replicants die in very exotic, right. I call it exotic, ways, very extreme. And this was the end of the film. So I said to Ridley, can I just go like the batteries go dead? Mm. And he said, yeah. And, you know, and we talked about having the bird. We shot it two ways because right. I wanted to let the bird go and right. just, you know. And then there was a page of dialogue there, which was like, you know, a lot of talk. Yeah. And saying goodbye. So I chose the two lines that I thought were most poetic and, and visual. And then I added, uh, yeah. you know, the last one. It's a great piece. It's a great piece. So it's, now... It's opening. It's opening again. It's in well, the Well, it should. It should. Yeah. Everybody should see. I mean, it's just wonderful sci-fi, and Ridley yeah. is so... His eye is so amazing. So now you have this great movie with Ridley Scott, and then you start playing all these bad guys, all these... They hit you. You're eating people's yeah. fingers yeah. out. It's like spooky stuff. Yeah. And then there was Lady Hawk. Yeah. Why... Why is there more of this heavy guy and less of this wonderful Lady Hawk man. Well, romantic, let's say the, the romantic movie, uh, I think it's hard to find. Mm. I also think that people are not really ready to give me that part. Mm. But why? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, you'd have to ask them, you know. Um, so where, what's, what's up for you? Now, you're writing, you're directing, you're acting. What are you doing? Well, I am, uh, I have, uh, I'm doing a film for HBO right now. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting uh, character. <laughs> Good guy, bad guy. Bad guy. Bad yeah, guy, yeah. yes. And, are you eating uh, anyone in this? Uh, no. Good. No fingers. Ron Silver is in it, and Rebecca de Mornay. So... And it's a great director. And just, right. there's like violence and sex and stuff in the films. And Does that fascinate you? No, it doesn't at all. I, you know, I mean, you know me better. Uh, I'm uh, basically a very <laughs> sensitive guy. And I <laughs> use... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I remember use, that. Uh, you know, I use my intelligence and my instincts to go into these characters and make them just a little different than you've seen before. Yeah. That's because I'm European and because I'm probably, you know, a little more open-minded. 
uh, to bad guy, good guy. Yeah. Uh, to me, the whole difference is a fake. Mm -hmm. We like to pretend that we are the good guys, but we know that we have our bad moments, mm -hmm. and we can have them within, you know, a minute. Yeah. But we don't tell anybody. We just keep, you know, the good guys and the bad guys apart. Mm. Um, so you do them, and they're, they yeah, are. Yeah, I, you know, but I, you. you know, I mean, I, the emphasis. I, I understand the emphasis, mm -hmm. and I understand some of this PR work on the bad guys because it fascinates people more. Yeah. You know, Blind Fury, I love Blind Fury, and I love the other th stuff that I did, too. Right. But it just sticks with them, because it's their problem. Right, right. You know, more or less. And violence and all that stuff. I think all the films that we make, you know, in this world, mm. uh, we are, you know, altogether a mirror of what we think is interesting. You know, altogether. Yeah. yeah. So we are a mirror of society, and the way I, you know, it's the thing that I don't like very much is that filmmaking is, let's put it kindly, so expensive that people think of it as money, you know, investments. Right. Now, I can see that, right. that, you know, there's a good deal of money to be made if you invest it well. What is fun is that nobody knows how to invest it well in a movie. So you're still looking at these people who go, no, no, this is going to make a lot of money. Right. And they got the good director, the good, the good actor, everything's right, good. Right. But in the end, you go, what happened? So is that an American way of, I mean, because the European film market seems to be catching up to us in that, in that way of looking at film rather than as art. But, but, I mean, how do you say to somebody, well, yeah, you know, you're going to make this little movie and it's not going to make very much money, but let me have your money because you'll really artistically feel <laughs> much better about this than, you know, I don't know, Bambi meets the killer chickens or I don't something. Know. I don't know why, and I, I don't know why it is, but I mean, I, I know that money is expensive. Uh, and I know that, you know, people with real point of views mm or less, uh, but I guess you need patience. Because yeah. uh, I do them, yeah. and I'm not going to stop. Yeah.